research focuses on child and adolescent obesity. Um, in particular, we study health disparities um, among adolescents and low-income adolescents. We feel like this is a really important group because although our country has started to see a leveling off in pediatric obesity rates over the last few years, overall, if you look at low-income adolescents in particular, that leveling off has not occurred. And there are different ways that we think that stress can affect obesity risk. So um, one of the ways is through eating and emotional eating. And so a main project in our lab is focusing on how stress is related to the risk for emotional eating. So in the work that we're doing with low-income adolescents, what we're finding is that daily hassles and relational stress and family stress is associated with a greater risk for eating in response to feelings like depression and anxiety um, and feeling sort of unsettled. We're focusing on how physiological stress reactivity and also stressors in the environment might be related to obesity risk because we think this can inform the development of intervention and let us know if stress really should be uh, a target for intervention in the future. Potentially, adolescents who are eating in response to emotion or stress might benefit from learning some mindfulness-based skills. So very broadly, mindfulness has to do with attending to the present moment in a non-judgmental way. So related to eating, um, if a person was eating a piece of chocolate cake, instead of eating and thinking to themselves, I shouldn't be eating this, this is terrible, you know, I'm doing a bad thing, and really judging themselves, we might ask somebody to just notice the flavor and the sensation of the cake and to um, notice the experience of eating the cake without really judging themselves for it. There's some research to suggest that individuals who eat more mindfully tend to uh, actually consume less food. They're paying attention to what they're eating in the moment.